think when you're bedding these wrinkles on, they must have run out of water. Uh, bed, zero bed, zero bed. Right, this is a bit precarious now, because we've got this out. All the floor seems propped up. Well, we're coming off here, and we're coming off there. But, uh, so plan of action is, while he's off getting the, um, the extra bricks, I'm gonna continue with this. Right. 35 years of the trade, probably near 36, and I'm still making apprentice mistakes. Warm by again. It's nice out there, much warmer here too. So here we go. A slightly easier project for us there compared to the rest of it. Down, down to DPC. Obviously the floor is going to be patched there. Well sorted out, gas pipe sorted. But it's like a hollow floor, so you can do whatever you like with the wires. Put the ball up and use it and it. So that's going to be a kitchen. From this wall. So we've added this down room to the kitchen and then Alex is on the far side of the house. It's going to be one big room right across the back of the house. It's going to be amazing. It's done. So, um, yeah. I've quite enjoyed that. Just do the side. Ooh, so, back to time lapse again while we get this lot tidied up. It's all spick and span. That skit's looking horribly full. Anyway. Perfect. Right, this is a bit precarious now, because we've got this out, all the floor seems propped up. As you saw before, he's got the other acro up, so knock on wood, sure. shouldn't be going anywhere. I did have just the trimmer done, so everything's coming off the trimmer, I'll put this onto this joist just in case, even though this is a full joist. This is going to be doubled up, just to take the weight. Better to play it safe. Eh? Better to play it safe. Eh? Better to play it safe. Yes. 
safety first. And then, I think when you're bedding these wrinkles on, they must have run out of water. Uh, bed, zero bed, zero bed. Bonkers. All hidden behind plaster. So there's our stairs again. So we're going back to that wall. Uh, yeah, so let's crack on. I'm actually going to take these off me as I go because I don't want that to go on its own. If you're outside, it would have made for some nice uh, content. Pull you back to time lapse. Let's do a little bit of a down. Hmm. Wasn't so hard, was it? Like that. Just got this to take out now, the rest of the wall. Well, I've done several so flicking onto time lapse for that. There you go, take that off Right, no cables or pipes under there. This is a new, um, new toy. I like it. Jesus. That was better than I thought it would be. Right, where's the expert echo? What did you do with it? Oh, do you want to take that off me a sec, man? Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to swap this acro to here so we can put a board down here to load our blocks on. Works right, this will go loose. Like full. Hey, like full. Yes. Now, that's not the one I'm supposed to take out, but that one was, wasn't doing anything anyway. This should be the loose one. Yeah. I want that turn. You turn it the right way? Yeah, it's, it's that. It's that stupid. I hate the wire ones. Catch it on that. Yeah. Uh. And we're done. 
So what I just want you to clean out in there, mate, and then put that board back over the top. And we can move blocks from it there. Right. There's eight going in here. There. See, I'm tempted. I'm tempted to prop that. Take them out. We should have trying to tie into that. How would you tie it in? Where would you? Well, we're coming off here and we're coming off there. Right. If we do away with that, we can just have it as a a bonded in thing. But where'd you prop it from? Well, from, you probably have to just have to prop the lintel. Prop underneath that lintel. And then we can take everything else out underneath it then. Mm-hmm. Where would you get a Under the lintel. We just need to make sure... Oh yeah, it's short enough, isn't it? So we get a strong boy and in there. Put a brick in there to get it up and then put a strong boy under there. Or even leave the bricks in. Take that wedge out and get a strong boy in there. Right. Strong boy fit in there. Um, hold on, don't think so. It will if we get in. Right, Alex is nearly finished tidy. We're all done there, everything's out. We're all loaded up here. Got rid of this poxy little 100 by 100 piece of block we had here. Got loaded to prop with the acro, and we're going to pick that up and return it so it's a nice strong job tie it into this screw size tie into this there's our face of our wall because it's going to be insulated inside the garage actually I don't think this side needs to be this side can probably go up to there it's just inside the garage needs setting back anyway we'll cross that one come to it so that needs setting out clean fill in DPC and we're, blo we're blocking this door up and got a trusty multi tool. We've got a laminate, insulation, insulation, vinyl floor, piece of ply, wall boards underneath that. That all needs to come out so we can get down our, get our block work down. So I'm working on that at the moment. <sighs> so I'll stick it on time much a bit. Sorry about that, knock the camera off with the door. There you go, floors up. Floorboards, ply, insulation, underlay, that air laminate. So we can build off that now. I think that's that's just a noggin that. We can knock that out. And they're both just full joists, they better stay in. Yeah, so tomorrow's job that's for the block work door's got to come off obviously yeah that could be taken out two them to be done as well flower box to be taken off right let's get prepped for tomorrow
Right, just while Dad finishes the mixer, I'll do the outro for once. But, um, steel part of the job, all done. Day three. Day, yep, day three, we're done with all the steel work. Padstones are in, bolts are in. Bolts are going to get tightened tomorrow. But, um, bolts are in, padstones are in. That's getting cut back to, uh, to where the padstone is for the wall. But, um, other than that, all everything here is done. Tomorrow, the acros will be coming down and they'll be take, taking out like, the Hodgson tomorrow. Um, and it'll be the wall tomorrow, which I made a start. I've got this bit of a start here. So, we took down the wall, Dad took down this wall because it was just 100 mil piece blocks all the way down. So, at least now it's a bit stronger with the, with the returns in it. I'll be going up to the up to the stairs. You're very loud. Hey? You're very loud. Sorry. <laughs> but um, but yeah, better than uh, better than the last time we were here, wasn't it? But, um, yeah, I think that's it. Morning. Morning. Day four? Yep. Bloody hell. Well, this should be the last day. Better be. <laughs> uh, but knock on, knock on wood. So today is about getting the wall up and breaking up that doorway. Door out. Tooth out. Break up. Yeah. Only up to the window height. It's only one big window. So that's my little morning project while well, it finishes this. And then the afternoon project is Rip this up, well, block it up in line with that kitchen wall. Blocks, blocks this off. Small garage, my hoosted kitchen. So the first job is get all these acros out of the way. Yeah, now that the uh, now that steel's are properly set, we can finally get these acros out. Staying in. That one we've put, we're swapping that one over because that one's Jeff, so we've, and we've got to take the uh, the hired ones back today. So yeah. Wrong way. And then my job, for t my job is also uh, trimming this back 50 mil, just so the uh, wall can run, run, run through flush. Right, without further ado, let's get cracking. There you go, it's Alex with the new new beast. Turn around. There you go. Professional heavy duty. Same as the grind, I know the grind is good, so this is gonna be good. Isn't it if it's blue, it's professional. Blue Bosch is yeah, the green's DIY. Green's DIY, yeah. So I'm just getting this nib off so I can get the um and keep the bricks flush. Just take go into the top of the Yeah. Yeah. Oh, keep forgetting, stick yeah. to switch. Yeah. 
Bish bash bosh. Bosh. <laughs> In short work of that, I'm, I'm liking that. Perfect. Right. 35 years of the trade, probably over 36, and I'm still making apprentice mistakes. These are all our transfers. We've put, we've put the line of brick off the wall down that end so we could project the line out. So there's our brick. Projected the line through, marked it, brought us our brick back. Then we need 80mm for the insulation, for a 3x2 frame insulation, so that the whole wall comes flush, which means we have to set our wall back 85mm, 80mm, which gives us our wall. So put the mark on, put our put my timber on to this line, which is wrong, spotted it, moved it over the 100 mil so we're working from this face side, the outside. So got that right. Did that, came over here, was it marked it, put a mark on but didn't strike the line and then got my profile, just hammered it straight on. So obviously I've gone the wrong side of the line, 100 mil out and then there you go, that's what happens when you work the wrong side of the line. Absolute apprentice error. But every, anyone who says they haven't worked the wrong side of the line is a liar. So when you stand back and look at it, it's so obvious. So it's all set back up now. I'm going to take them all up and put them in the right place. What's a knob. There we go, done. I should have done the uh, D and J finger click, shouldn't I? Try that. Would have been easy in doing that myself. So yeah, there we go, we're in now, this nib lines through as you can see, comes through, so you've got insulation, our wall, and when it's all plastered, you're going to have one long flat wall, and a little bit of a feature with the stairs sticking in there, but it is what it is, so um, I need to just use up what brick I've got and go and get some supplies. And then Alex is going to crack on with this, get this bit finished. And when I get back, I'm going out there, doing a bit of toothing, take the door out, get the toothing done, start on that, and then Alex can drop on this then. And then this afternoon we should both be on it together. So it's coming together, I think it's about half nine, twenty to ten now. We came a bit earlier this morning to get a good start, so we don't want to be too late. We've had a couple of late nights on this one. But as you can see, it's coming together nicely. It's a big room. I'm going to have to measure this later just to give you the dimensions of it. Hello, me again. <laughs> I'm going to have a bloody sore throat by the end of this. I'm not used to talking at all. Right. Plan of action. He's meant to be getting some bricks soon. I think he's procrastinating. But uh, so plan of action is while he's off getting the um, the extra bricks, I'm gonna continue with this, which I need bricks for. So he needs to uh, he needs to hurry his ass up. But um, I'm going to build this up to the final block, so it sh should be about here-ish. But uh, obviously I can't follow this because it's gauged and everything's off, so I'll do my best to get to here. Maybe get a brick or a cut block on there, get it snug to the stairs, either way. Um, same there, get it up to probably about here, to where the stairs start. That's, the, that's not in the van. Yeah? That's not in the van. What is it? You. Hey, I haven't even had a break yet. This is you. That's a nice long break. I'm going to have a second one if you don't get these bricks. Mm. Yeah, that's the that's the plan of action. We'll see if it, we'll see if it plays out. Thank you. 
going. Yeah, so really quick, I've just uh, found out when cutting my off cut for this one, it's a, a 380 cut. <laughs> the off cuts probably work perfectly. Because I just need something just to uh, put in this gap, just so it's not got that void. And this should be perfect. Obviously, trim it down a bit with my uh, scotch. And uh, as Dad says, jobs are good. In. Let's get back on it. Right, I've been an hour, I'm back now. Reds are in, DPC's on, vents are in. So that's ready for the block work now. There you go, Alex is all done. He's, had that, he's done that while I've been away getting materials. So I've been to Hughes Grey and Fairwoods. Hughes Grey for the red rustics for the outside, and Fairwoods for the reds, commons, blocks, and sand and cement. Um, we're using these blocks that we cleaned but we've had to get the lightweight, like Tilcon lightweight blocks, the white ones. The reason being, the I think the engineers specified lightweight blocks on the slab because we could because we don't know what's under the slab. So we're going to use as little as these as we can. They're not heavy blocks, but they're, they're heavier than the lightweight ones. And then we're going to use them there and use as many as the lightweight ones as we can. So obviously it's going to look a bit odd on the other side, but um, customer's going to paint the wall anyway, so it's purely going for weight saving. Th uh, fiber lights would have been better, but you try and get all the fiber lights at the moment, wasting your time. So I'm out here now, taking this door off. These were like bolts, so you can see they're in like a, like a metal sleeve. So luckily, metal blade on this beast. I'm going to just rip through them. Then I'm, I might not have to grind this because it's soft. I might just use the saber saw to cut it out to two with it. So that's another new one for us today. See how that goes. So I'll just time that's putting these through.
Right, mix is in, lunch is over, one o'clock. Alex is going to get cracking on this now. Use these greys up and then we've got the, the lightweight, the white lightweight ones to go on top. Because we've got to use lightweight blocks on the floor. Done. Patched inside, patched inside, finished. Just need to tidy up in there, tidy up here. Door's going to go in the skip. Block work for there, loaded. All two out. That was the easy bit. The hard bit is going to be building it because it's going it's going to look well as a bricklayer. I'm not going to, I'm not going to be proud of it, but as you know, we're honest we're honest on this channel, so we're just going to show it warts and all. There's the only way of making this work is 30 mil cross joints, which looks friggin' horrible, or tighten up and you've got like a large closure which looks just as horrible but it's which one to go with it's the lesser of two evils for this one i'm afraid yeah at least the joints are tight if you, if you have 30 mil cross joints perhaps you can't fill the joints properly you can't joint it properly you, you it just looks screwed. pig's ear no the only way of fixing it will be to knit the whole pillar down there or the whole pillar down there and we're not into that that's just not going to happen so we're going to have to go for the piece keep it over here this side not happy about it but it's just the way it's worked I'm afraid the the door opener I think is 840 brick, brick is nine, 900 as you know 890 so as I say I'm not happy but it's got to be done so um, yeah let's carry on with that then Uh, welcome from up in the garage roof where we are currently topping off this wall Alex is trying to get tied up just done five so this is the uh, there you go, there's the wall there's the room and there's the door all bricked up ready for the window I think it's getting boarded up tonight so I'll show you that later it's not very pretty but it's the best we possibly can do so I'll, um, I'll find somewhere to put yeah so we can watch this last couple going on Right, it's so the next day, just knit back to double up the bolts and obviously do this outro. So there's the door, that we bricked up with the unfortunate piece. There's nothing we could do about that, but the customer's going to hide that with a planter. So you just bought it out, windows going in tomorrow I think, or Friday. So in the old garage. 
old cavity wall there. And we put that wall in now to form a small room at the front with the up and over door. So now this is part of the kitchen. There's a new floor going in this, level with this one, obviously. And then that's the new kitchen. I forgot to measure it, but it's probably three, six, it's been, must be 10 meters. There's Alex's bit under the stairs with the brickwork to take the lintel, to take the trimmer. Jeff's going to sort this out when he comes at the weekend. So there's the old end of the kitchen. And then this wasn't low burn, this was nice and easy. This came down pretty easy. And then that's a monster. It's going to look great when it's done. So they just, they've just ordered it now, I think it's five weeks for the kitchen to be made and delivered and then I'm going to get it fitted. Obviously there's plenty to do between now and then. That's um, that's just a discrepancy between the nine inch wall and the cavity wall but that can just be made with plaster. It's still got the same seating. Uh, yeah, just double, double, double the bolts up on there. It's all done, it's all done. Well it's all done, it's all finished. So. Yeah, that was a tough one, but very satisfying now it's done. So I'll get back to the other job now. So um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. How about Ashley go about this? Just go in there on an angle, so you're in, and then you can turn it. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I did that bit out where I'm asking what to do. Okay. I know how to use a saw. Okay.